Hey guys, my name is Malik Arjun Tirlapur. Today I will be going to demonstrate the application which are developed on Java Cut platform. This application simulates the Geld Automat. There is nothing but automatic color machine and the card reader. I have developed this application on NetBeans environment. So in this application, I have created two projects. One is Java Card Applet and another one is Java Card Host application. Java Card Host application and Java Card Applet communicate each other through application protocol data unit as per the ISO 7816 standards. Java Card Host application runs on the PC, whereas Java Card Applet runs on the smart card. Now let us have a look on the Java Card Applet. The Java Card Applet has been developed with the functionalities such as pin verification, money credit, money debit, and the balance inquiry. Also, it unblocks the card if the card gets blocked. The card will get blocked if the user enters wrong pin for more than three times. And the methods are executed based on the commands. The commands are sent from the host application. Now let us have a look on the Java Card host application. In this class, I have defined the methods such as establish connection to simulator. In this method, I program the socket to make a connection to the simulator. And also I define other methods to send the power up command, to power up the card or to send the power down command, to shut down the card or set the commands in the APDU field or to set the data length to set the data in the data field of the APDU to exchange the APDU with the simulator read the data in the response APDU from the smart card and also read the status in order to determine the status of the pro process so run the java card applet first Ok, the project has been built successfully and it opened the connection to localhost on port 9025. Through this port, the host application will communicate with the simulator. Now next, run the guild automat. So once the guild automat has been run, then a GUI will be popped up. Uh, I designed this GUI to interact with the Java card host application. I designed this GUI with uh, two sections. One section simulates the guild Autobot and another section displays the uh, internal process like it displays all the fields of the APDU when the APDU is exchanged between smart card and the host application. Okay, in order to establish the connection with the card data simulator, I click this button. And uh, apart from establishing the connection with the card data simulator, it will also select the Java card applet on the smart card. In order to select the applet, the one should know the AID of that applet. So, uh, one can find AID of the applet in services, in Java card runtimes. If you go to Java card applet, you can find the AID. So, this AID has to be set to select the Java card. Okay, let us establish the connection with the card data simulator. Okay, Java card applet has been selected and the connection has been established with the card data simulator successfully.
these are the fields of the command video the cla indicates the class ins indicates the instruction command p1 and p2 are the instruction parameters lc indicates the length of the data command in the data field le indicates the maximum length of the data expected in the response video okay now let's start the demo okay. now i will enter the pin <coughs> which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the pin has been verified successfully. Check the balance, which is 89. Let me credit the amount, let's say 100 bucks. Credit, check the balance, which is 189. Debit, 150 bucks from the account. Uh, it will not allow me to <coughs> debit 150 bucks because it, it the limit has been exceeded so I will debit 50 bucks and check the balance this is 139 even if I try to credit uh, more than 100 bucks it will throw an exception okay this is one case Okay, now let me demonstrate an another case. Uh, so for that, I will re-establish the connection with the Cardata simulator, and in this case, I will not verify the pin. And uh, without verifying the pin, I will try to access my account, and let us see what will be going to happen now. If I try to create 100 bucks, it will not allow me to do that. So in order to do that, the pin verification is required. And for also debit, the pin verification is required, and also for the balance, the pin verification is mandatory. Okay, now let me demonstrate the final case uh, where I will uh, enter the wrong pin for three times, and now let us see what is going to happen. I entered the wrong pin, and it throws an exception saying that the pin was wrong. And uh, I am left with only two attempts. And I entered the I entered the pin wrong again. The wrong pin and uh, exception. I am left with only one attempt. Wrong pin. And uh, I am left with only zero attempts. So even if I enter the correct pin now. The pin will not be get verified because the card has been already blocked. Okay, now uh, let's unblock the card by sending the unblock command. Now I will enter the correct pin 1234. Okay, the pin has got verified now. Now I will try to access the account. I will create 50 bucks. I will check the balance 79. I will debit 40 bucks. Again, I will check the balance 39. Now I will create 100 bucks. Check the balance. Debit 90 bucks. Check the balance. So, this is my small application which I developed using Java card. And uh, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And please do comment on the comment section. And please give me the feedback so that I can improve myself in the future. And don't forget to close the connection with the card reader simulator. And thank you.